Musica. Peter Grimes on the beach. Benjamin Britten's opera was one of the key events of the latest edition of the festival he created in the late 1940s in Oldborough, a fishing village that inspired the opera and where the artist spent most of his life. Benjamin Britten was an acclaimed conductor, an accomplished musician, but above all, one of the major composers of the last century. And this year, 2013, marks the centenary of his birth. His personality and the Suffolk region are tightly intertwined. There is something about his music that reflects the coast and the sea. There's a kind of sense of light and space in some of his music, and I feel that perhaps comes from, from somebody who, who wants to be by the sea. Uh, it's a very open landscape, it's very flat, the skies are big. There is a wonderful changing light here all the time. So it's that kind of simplicity or austerity that I think uh, is so special about here. As Britain's career as a composer and conductor developed, so did his festival grow from a high quality but still local event into an internationally famed rendezvous. In the 1970s, with his partner Peter Pears, they realized that there was a real need to support young professional musicians. So what you have here is a huge year-round uh, musical center with young musicians at all different stages of their development coming here to be inspired, try new things. The centenary masterclass devised for young but already established musicians has been recently devoted to Britain's string quartets. Cassandra Hamilton is the leader of the Bernadelle Quartet. So much of his writing is so intimate and you have to keep it so close to yourself before he lets you give it away. I've just been walking up and down the beach just um, it's, it's so silent there. It's, it's amazing to just... You don't have to think about anything or listen to anything. I'm always amazed by the richness of his legacy. For me, What's exciting is not only the obvious fact that he was a great composer and wrote lots of wonderful music, but he was an extraordinary impresario. So many of his ideas were, were quite radical, were quite ahead of their time. His ideas about music education, his ideas about the role of the composer in the community. He was doing that before other people were in, 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 in Europe. In the last bars of the third quartet, which Britton composed at the end of his life, the music freezes on an unresolved chord, a question. I think, yeah, the answer to the question is kind of one of those is there or isn't there and an afterlife. So I think it's one that is never supposed to be resolved, personally. And I like, I like that because... It's, I mean, it's so unexpected, but it's what Britain does best, actually. He always takes us by surprise. <laughs>